Hey everyone, it's Tyler, the Antenna Man, and today I'm going to review the Weingard HD7698. It's a large directional antenna that claims a 70 mile range. How well does it actually work? Stay tuned to find out. If you're a cord cutter or into antennas, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit that bell icon to receive a notification whenever I post a new video. My YouTube channel is dedicated to the cord cutting community. I'm constantly posting new videos on antenna reviews, reception tips, and so much more. So the Weingard HD769A is one of the largest high VHF UHF combo antennas on the market. The build quality is solid. After all, all Weingard outdoor antennas are made in the USA and tested in a wind tunnel with speeds over 100 miles per hour. The larger size translates to decent gain both on the VHF and UHF band. Many larger antennas out there skip out on VHF gain, which in my opinion is critical in some situations. You see, VHF TV stations that broadcast on RF channels 213 tend to have weaker signals due to the FCC setting their power limits way too low. This means people in fair to weak signal areas with multiple VHF stations usually need a larger antenna with decent VHF gain for reliable reception, such as the Weingard HD7698. As a heads up for those of you who are seeing me on YouTube for the first time, VHF TV stations broadcast on channels 2 to 13 and typically require a longer antenna element to be picked up, while UHF TV stations broadcast on channels 14 through 36 and are better picked up with smaller antenna elements. If you look at the Weingard HC7698, you'll see these longer elements on the back are designed for high VHF channels 7 through 13, and there's plenty of them. The shorter elements towards the front of the antenna are designed for UHF channels 14 and above. Now before everyone starts thinking of their local channel numbers, Fox 5, NBC4, it's very important to understand that most TV stations don't broadcast on a channel number you see on air. For example, in New York, there's an NBC4 and the average person would say, oh, they're on channel 4, so I need a low VHF capable antenna. They actually broadcast on the UHF band, UHF channel 35. The same is true for most TV stations across the United States. The current digital TV standard and ATSC 3.0 allows TV stations to broadcast on a different RF channel than what is shown on your TV set, so it's very important to understand what RF channels are in your area. To find out what RF channels your local TV stations broadcast on, go to antennapoint.com, type in your zip code, and you'll be provided with a list of TV stations in your area. Look at the DTV channel for each TV station. You can see in my area, the local NBC28 actually broadcasts on VHF channel 11. Now, if you want to run a reception report to get a better idea of what specific TV stations can be picked up at your location, not just based solely on distance, check out the FCC DTV reception maps or rabbiteers.info. I attach links to both websites in the description of the video. How well does this large Weingard antenna work? I tested it out in the same location I tested out various other outdoor antennas to see how it performs. If you decide to purchase this antenna, be sure to use one of my affiliate links in the pinned comment below or in the description of the video to help support my YouTube channel. Here are the results from the last two antennas I tested out on my YouTube channel. From left to right, you'll see the TV station, the call letters, RF channel the TV station broadcasts on, and the results of the previous two antennas I tested out on the YouTube channel. All of these TV stations are about 42 miles away with one mountain ridge between my home and the broadcast towers. You can also see the results of various other outdoor antenna models by checking out my other videos. The signal on KYW CBS3, which broadcasts on UHF channel 30, was higher on this antenna than the GE Attic antenna and about the same as the five star antenna. The signal on WCAU NBC10, which broadcasts on UHF channel 28, was higher on this antenna compared to the last two antennas I tested out on the YouTube channel. The signal on WPHL, which broadcasts on UHF channel 17, was also higher on this antenna than the last two antennas I tested out. The signal on WTXF Fox 29, which broadcasts on UHF channel 31, was, as you guessed it, higher on this antenna than the last two antennas I tested out. 
The signal on WHYY, which broadcasts on VHF channel 13, was significantly higher on this antenna than the last two antennas I tested out. No other antenna I tested out on this channel had a signal level this high. This antenna performed very well, both on the VHF and UHF band. In fact, it brought in one of the highest signal levels on the one VHF channel in my area than any other VHF UHF combo antenna I tested out on my YouTube channel. If you live in a rural area with multiple stations on the high VHF band, this is the antenna model for you. If you have some low VHF stations in your area, which honestly is not too common, remember RF channels, consider the WineGuard HDA200, which is a very similar antenna, but with low VHF capability. Now, if you have a wife who will say, I don't want that large antenna on my roof, check out the WineGuard HD7694. It has more VHF gain than most small directional antennas out there without being overly massive. Links to all three WineGuard antenna models are attached in the description of this video. Now, if you're in a fair to strong signal area within 30 or 40 miles of the broadcast towers and don't want a larger antenna, Consider the WineGuard Elite, which is a part of the ultimate streaming bundle from WineGuard. Get the antenna along with an Air TV DVR and two months of Sling TV for only $150. Follow my link in the description of the video to grab this insane deal. If all this technical information, low VHF, high VHF, UHF, and RF channels, has you confused on what to look for in an antenna, consider an antenna recommendation from me on my website at antennamanpa.com. I go through your unique reception situation, take a look at the frequencies and signal strength in your area, determine what antenna will work best for you based on my experience testing out over 50 antenna models and actually installing them in four TV markets. Antennas are not a one size fits all model and investing in an antenna recommendation from me can prevent you from wasting hundreds of dollars on the wrong equipment for your area. Whether you decide to purchase this great antenna or another antenna model, make sure it's properly grounded if installed outside. I have a video on this topic attached in the description of the video. There's a lot of stuff attached in the description of the video. Thanks to WineGuard for sponsoring this video and supporting my YouTube channel. An additional thanks to everyone who supports me on Patreon or is a member of my YouTube channel. If my videos have helped you cut the cord or if you just think they're cool and would like to support them while gaining exclusive perks, such as behind the scenes content, access to my videos ad free one day early, and direct contact with me, visit patreon.com forward slash antenna man or click the join button in this video. If you're on Facebook, you can like my Facebook page at facebook.com forward slash antenna man PA. If you're not on Facebook and would like to receive email updates whenever I post new videos, feel free to sign up to my email list. There's a link in the description of the video. There's a lot of stuff in the description of the video, so make sure to follow it for other videos and recommended antennas. Stay tuned to my YouTube channel for more cord cutting antenna related information and have an awesome day.